Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna hop in the boat with Brad Hawthorne and we're gonna catch a bunch of fish on this new bait right here, the deep V spin. So without further ado, let's jump right in. That one on the, that is, you got the spin yep. on there. And I think it hit it right on the fall. I started to pick up the slack and felt a little bit of weight and he was swimming right at me. But we are out here on Mille Lacs today with the brand new deep V spin. And what we did is we took our deep V jig, same keel design, and we added a little spinner blade behind it and adds a little flash and vibration and that fish obviously loved it. So let's well, see if we can get some more. The, the little secret about the deep V underspin is, or the deep V spin is that it works equally as well for dragging jigs as it does for pitching jigs. And when you need that slow fall, when the fish are hitting on the fall, put a blade on it. And one of the cool things about this bait is actually the blade itself. So next up, Sam is gonna jump in to what makes this blade a little bit unique as far as jigs go. So we got another, what feels like a good walleye going here on the deep V spin. And this one, I was just sitting in the back of the boat, pitching it out and just kind of dragging it. And I think that blade just is fluttering and flashing. There you go, a little better fish, Brad. That's a nice one. You, dude, that little, that flash, that moonlight flash off that blade is the deal. Yeah. That's the, I think that's worth noting is like, the blades aren't just silver or gold blades. Like, they've got the color yeah. that's needed on them. And that's, that's one thing we wanted to do in development of this. There's so many underspin jigs out there that have silver blades or gold blades. Uh, but what we ended up doing is we have 12 colors in the lineup. Uh, four of them are gold plated, four of them are silver plated, and then four of them are painted, uh, kind of like our spinner baits. So this one actually has a glow colored blade. So still get the flash and vibration, but a little bit more subtle, uh, subtle deal there. So it matches the moonlight. That's been the ticket out here today. So we're gonna get him back and see if we can get another. Next up, I'm hooking up with a walleye and I'm gonna talk a little bit about where this class of jigs falls into my arsenal. Just hooked up here and what do we got? Decent walleye. Here, you gonna scoop him for me? Yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> not the swinger category right there. I was thinking about going down and getting them. And uh, looks like I got him right on the side there. Nice fish. And he went on purple. And I've got the little blade underneath it. And one thing that I will say is for me, this time of year, so it's spring right now, and for me, like it's all about, as far as like what your presentation is and like the baits you're using and how you're working them, for me it's a lot about water temperature. I'm gonna get this guy back. Yep. Um, and so right now we're sort of sneaking up the ladder a little bit, and to me that's when blades can really be, can really kind of come into play. So this is the deep V spin, and it's basically just got a little willow blade on the bottom there for a little extra flash, and for me, I'm thinking personally once the water temperatures climb up into that high 50s range, 60s, and the fish are looking for a little bit more flash and they're w willing to go and uh, move on something that's that's flashing, you know, like early in the year, like on like a tip typical opener year, um, if water temperatures are closer to 50 degrees, I might go something a little smaller, maybe a normal deep V, maybe a tungsten. Um, but as things climb, this is kind of like a little secret weapon that we've been playing with the last week or so. Not only is this bait really good for casting out and then hopping back to the boat or casting out and just swimming it on a steady retrieve and letting that blade do all the work, it's also a really good bait for just dragging right below the boat. In some cases you can do that in river fishing situations um, or in lakes when you're fishing a little bit deeper especially, but Brad is gonna demonstrate that tactic right now. Well, so to answer your pitching, I decided to go back there and just drag these jigs. And this is, a, again, the deep V spin. Oh, that's, okay, so this one's in between a swing in between a swing to grab the and a not a swing. So we just swung that one. <laughs> but as you can see, right there, deep V spin. And the cool part is that blade matches the jig color. 
and that is really key especially when you're talking about you getting that little bit warmer water and you're in you're in between that like we're using plastics and we're using minnows and we're going like almost one for one a little bit of lenience on the on the meat bite but like seriously if you guys want to come out and like really open your eyes really widen your scope of jig fishing you should really start to introduce some blades into the mix there it's been a kind of a guide secret for years we're like throw a little bit of a blade under there i mean there's been tons of products where you see guys either adding blades to them or they're coming pre-packaged like this and there's a reason why people are jumping on the bandwagon is because they work and they don't just work for pitching they work for vertical they work for rivers they work for dragging and they work for pointing and shooting kind of like we're doing today exactly so Go out, grab some of these guys, put a minnow or plastic on it, and honestly, you don't have to come to Mille Lacs to be successful for this. No, you can go anywhere. So, grab some, grab some plastics, throw some minnows on there. You might even have some tippage in your tackle box that'll work for it, but get out there. Whether you want to throw them, drag them, pitch them, they catch walleye. Next up, I'm gonna pass it off to Sam, who's kind of the lure designer extraordinaire over at Northland, and he's gonna break down all the different characteristics of this new jig, what makes it interesting, what makes it unique, and why you should probably have a few of them in your tackle box. So the Deep V Spin uh, falls in line with the rest of our Deep V series. We have it in, available in 16th, 8th, quarter, and 3 eighths. Um, just like the, the same keel design as our Deep V Jig, uh, but they all have these nice micro little willow thumper blades on it. Um, and they just spin and flash. Uh, so really cool, we got it available in 12 colors. Um, and what we did here, I talked about it a little bit earlier, but uh, we wanted to, to give the angler some variety in the colors. Just like the jig head, uh, we wanted variety in the blade colors too. So we have four painted models of blades, four gold models of blades, and four silver models of blades. So depending on the situation, you can change it up a little bit. Today we found that those painted um, glow moonlight blades have really, really been the key. Uh, another, I think, huge thing about the Deep V Spin, besides the flash uh, and vibration it gets you, that thumper blade on there really slows down the fall of the, uh, the lure. So um, today I was using a 3 ace, get it a little bit heavier uh, because that creates drag in the water. So as you're working that bait, it's gonna slow it down. Um, so if you need that little faster reaction strike, you're gonna wanna upsize it. In contrast, if you want that bait to hover and float, uh, then go to a lighter size, you know, a 16th with the blade, then that'll even float better than, you know, a 16th alone. So sometimes you need to hover it and kind of float it in on fish. Sometimes you want to fall it, make it fall faster. So picking out the right size is really important. And that's a really important thing to think about uh, when you have a, a blade, bladed jig like this, so. So this bait comes in four different sizes right here. We got the little 16th ouncer. We have an eighth ounce, which is just a staple. A little bit bigger, we have the quarter ounce. This is a really great option for fishing a little bit deeper or pairing up with plastics. And then last we have the big giant 3 8 ounce. So four different options, whether you're fishing up shallow, whether you're fishing deep, whether you're fishing with live bait or you're fishing with plastics. Now a lot of the fish in this video so far have come with meat, but uh, for this next fish, Brad's gonna dial one up on plastic. Another, like, oh, should, another one of those you probably shouldn't have tried to swing, but you did. <laughs> Again, like, God, I love, I just love jig fishing, you know? So this one here, I know you guys are gonna notice, I threw a little eye candy on this one. And yes, when you're using blades, you can throw plastics on them, and all we were doing is pitching, and basically I just started bouncing this back, just jerking it back to the boat, and that's the result. So what we started to see was the fishing started to improve. Yeah. So throwing some eye candy on the back of the Deep V spin, and it's a perfect jig for, to be honest with you, it's a perfect jig for plastics, really because it slows down that fall like what Sam was talking about before. Yeah. So kind of what we saw was S snap it up and get that reaction and then it has that subtle fall, which is different, you know, a lot different than other jigs, you know. So snap it up, flutter down, add the flash. It's a good well, combination. And you can even swim this combination too. When if walleyes are up really shallow, like 
a river system or something and yep. you're just switch just casting this out and swimming it awesome it, awesome it, presentation super versatile super versatile and the other point to make is with the eye candy plastics they actually float yes so that that accentuation of that fall with the floating and the blade absolutely deadly because your hang time is like two or three seconds longer yeah. so if they're really focusing on that glint going down that plastic is more than just a plastic at that point it's getting your blade 10 to 15 more turns on it which means more flash which means more fish all right let's wrap this video up with some parting thoughts from sam so the deep v spin is kind of inspired by a few things uh one the deep v family became quickly became one of the, our most popular lead jigs out there it's got that keel design bunch of different shapes uh, so we wanted to add on top of that and also northland for years has had the thumper jig which is kind of one of the the og original uh, uh underspin jig so we thought you know let's modernize it a little bit we'll add a thumper uh blade to the deep v in this one we decided to go with that kind of thinner willow so a little bit more modern design a um, little longer hook shank than in the thumper jig so it really was just like the perfect platform to build an underspin like this and like you see in the video today it works great on on live bait uh really good on plastics as well so just kind of a, a modernized version of of a a jig that northland has had out for a long long time and so far it's been super successful so we're really excited for its launch well, that's about all we got for you in this video. Special thanks to Brad. Special thanks to Sam for sharing a bunch of good information. If you're interested in checking out the Deep V Spin, you can go to northlandtackle.com or I know they've got them in a bunch of different retailers, pretty much anywhere uh, you'd be looking for a walleye jig. So uh, thanks for sticking all the way to the end of, end of this video. And if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome content coming in the future. And until then, we will see you in the next one.